Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to get Twixter up and running in After Effects. First off, I just want to say I'm terrible at English, so uh, I will hope you understand me all. First, you go to New Composition, and you use whatever you recorded the movie in. Mine happens to be 720, and you need to get the real frame rate, and I report in 59.94 frames per second. The next thing you need to uh, the duration of the movie you just do it real long I, I took mine an hour it doesn't matter really and press OK the next thing you do just go to file import and use the footage you want to go with and this is my girlfriend playing in the snow just drag it in and it's over there now uh, important thing is that you press enable frame blending after that you go to layer frame blending and pixel motion and once again layer time and enable time remapping and now go to effects and you use you pick twixter uh, important thing here is to uh, input frame rate need to be same as the frame rate you recorded in so just press project and you see 59.94 and you press 59.94 enter and now you just go down to effects twixter and you press output control and the clock which starts and now let's say i want uh I want Twixter to start about oh a bit early. Let's say here, and you just uh, put a keyframe there. Jump forward about one frame, and let's say I want it to go double the speed, two hundred. And let's see, I just want a couple of frames to go fast there. I put another keyframe and now I move forward one frame and I press it on like one frame per second and one person enter and as you see it gets really slow here Oop. there is a, the the clip went out that's why we enabled time remapping before. So you can just stretch the clip and go back and start with the slow motion again. And I want this motion to go like here. Then I just press a new keyframe, jump forward a couple of frames, and go back to 100% again, and it back to normal speed. You just drag it all the way, and I want to move it to end there, so I press the last keyframe, and I go up and take the movie back. And what you also need to do is drag the whole oh, sorry, this one where the movie ends, and now it's all ready to uh, export it. So you just control M. And here's uh, a couple of settings, but it's really easy. You take H.264 and you press on it. Here you go to uh, format options. You want the target bitrate to be about 8 for YouTube and the maximum at 10. Okay. And okay and you just what do you want to call it i call it snowy girlfriend enter and now just pay uh, render and remember when you render uh, always press caps lock before and when you press cap lock uh, the movie won't you won't see the movie while you're rendering it saves a lot of time and this is how the movie should look like when it's done.
pretty smooth and nice. Just slow warping around the arms. Really low though. And back to normal. I hope this video helped you and uh, I'm sorry again about my bad English, but I hope you understand. So go there, try some new things and uh, good luck. Take care.